Hey, a Wednesday afternoon, last day of August, time for Campbell Corner on Pine U 90.1 as we cruise together on Northern Thunder. Joining me, as she usually does, the director of the Campbell Public Library of East Grand Forks, Charlotte Helgeson. Good afternoon, Charlotte. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the friendly confines of Pine U 90.1. Now, a little bird told me this. This was the uh, story on the streets of East Grand Forks, that you've dived into fantasy football now. Is that true? <laughs> yes, yes, with the support of my children and my grandson, okay. I am now a fantasy football person. <laughs> so you picked your teams, right? I did. I did a really wonderful job, even okay. if that's only my opinion. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's important, though, too. Yes. Uh, did you happen to pick Teddy Bridgewater? No, I did not. You did not. Very sad news for Teddy. It is. Horrible. But, but you're a Viking fan, though. I am. And they'll bounce back. Uh, without a doubt. Oh, without a doubt, yeah. Their head coach is uh, that kind of guy. All right. Back to uh, important things for Campbell Corner on this last day of August. Item number one, community art exhibit ends on uh, September 9th. That's been up for how long now? It's been up for about a month. Okay. And we do have our long weekend that will be closed, but you have a few days left to come in and look at the community artwork. And I've heard of lo a lot of oohs and ahs when people come in and look. We've even had one painting purchased, so it's been an exciting exhibit. So you still have time. Stop on by and take a look. How do you describe the artwork? Is it wide and varied in uh, uh, theme and color? Oh, yes. It okay. has a lot of color. It has different kinds of painting and photography. And the youngest uh, artist being a young person, someone still in school, and all the way to those who are retired. And you really can't necessarily tell by looking at the artwork, but it's beautiful. Okay. It's on display now until September 9th. Stop on by and take a look. And they're on the walls at Campbell, right? That's right. Okay, can't miss them. Item number two, Lego Club. They meet uh, the second Monday of each month, right? No? No. No, okay. We'll try this again. Lego Club in September will meet the second Monday at 4 p.m. Is that right? That's right, because okay. our first Monday is a holiday. That's true. And so this month it's a little different. We did reschedule it. We're not canceling it. Okay. So instead of uh, next Monday, it's the following Monday. That's right. At uh, 4 o'clock at Campbell Library. And uh, for those who are listening for the first time, or maybe the second time, what is Lego <laughs> Club? Lego Club is for anyone who likes to build with Legos. We mm. have a theme. That would be me. Yeah, me too. I still do. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And yeah. we have had some very generous donors bringing in large containers of Legos. We've had people donate money to purchase Legos. So we have more Legos than any one individual, I think, <laughs> in the area has. So it's a lot of fun to get down there and build whatever it is that's you know waiting to be created. I'm thinking of the primary colors for Legos now. They are a red, yellow, blue, and green. Right? White. White. Black. There's black. There's gray. There's pink. There's purple. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I missed the boat on this one. Oh, without a really? doubt. It is getting... And besides, really? we have all the people with all the different hair and oh. hats and Boy. clothes and... I'm out of the loop here. Oh, and critters. You wow, can do really? a shark, a dragon, a oh. horse. Oh, yeah. It's it reminds me of M&Ms. I thought there were just four colors of M&Ms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I was wrong on that one, too. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. Lego Club again, not this Monday, the following Monday at 4 o'clock at Campbell. Item three. And now, for those who want to have, let's say, a quiet area to study at Campbell, or maybe want to meet for important reasons, are those spaces available? They are. If you're going to have a meeting, you can go online to our site and actually schedule a room if it's available. What you need to schedule a room is a library card. Each and every group has to have at least one person who is a patron of the East Grand Forks Campbell Library. And then you need to find out if you're profit or nonprofit. 
and find out if there's a fee or not. And sometimes that gets a little confusing for people. So you can certainly call and we'll walk you through it. But more and more people are going online and scheduling it. We've had a lot of people recently now that school has started want to come to the library and have a place to study. Mm -hmm. We are not a quiet library. Mm -hmm. If you want a quiet (laughs) space, I suggest reserving a room. And that's a good idea. That's what they're there for. And there's no fee if it's an educational purpose. I've used those rooms. They're very nice. Thank you. And I believe there are, what, uh, three or four? Well, we have a large one. We okay. have a, a smaller meeting room that we call the tech room. Okay. And then we have two small study rooms, which uh, two people, three people at max. Mm-hmm. And then study room C, which you can get five to six people in there. Okay. Great point. So, again, uh, it's available among many things at Campbell Library. Item four, program partners. Uh, boy, there's a big list of things there. What is that? There, There is. And what I wanted to let people know is when you use our rooms, we assume for the most part people scheduling it have those in mind who will attend. Either it's a meeting or they're just going to study with a, a tutor or it's a Boy Scout meeting or something along that line. But we do have groups who meet regularly at the library who are willing to open the door and let anyone from the public join them. So just very quickly, I I made a list for myself trying to put together who are our program partners. Mm -hmm. So we have a Tuesday book club. We have a Minn Kota genealogy club, the Fiber Arts of the Red River Valley, Koinonia, all kinds of different groups that come in and meet on a regular basis and will welcome anyone who wants to join them. So if you want to call and find out what's being read at the book study group on Tuesday morning, we can let you know that in September they're doing Lunch with Buddha. So it's it's a fun group to join. They will say, come on in anytime, but they will, they will always be there. So. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's very nice. It is nice. It's not mm. a library-sponsored program, but mm-hmm. we sh- we share the space with them. That's why you exist, right? That's right. One of many reasons why you exist. Serving East Grand Forks and really beyond East Grand Forks, uh, the rural area, and, dare I say, downtown Grand Forks and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> very, very that? true. Yes. <laughs> okay. Why, yes, you can. All right. And uh, there's a holiday coming up. You mentioned that. Labor Day is on Monday. What does that mean for patrons? That means the library will be closed Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So your books will be, all materials will be due before or after that weekend. But certainly come in early and get materials so you don't run out. But if you go online and you want to check out an ebook or an audio downloaded book, you can do that at midnight if you want at any time. Oh, Just great. because we're closed doesn't mean that that's not operating. Mm-hmm. Okay, very good. And again, Labor Day Monday. Happy Labor Day. What well, a happy Labor Day to you. Is that the official start for autumn, I think, kind of? Maybe, uh, maybe mm. official per <laughs> workforce. <laughs> but I don't think anyone else considers okay. that official. All right. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you. Charlotte Helgeson, Campbell Corner, Wednesdays just after 3, right here exclusively on Pioneer 90.1.